Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to Tracy's Sunday Challenge. Super excited that you're here. Um, so this week's theme is a fun one, it's technique. So you can use any technique that you would like and create a card and join in the fun. I'm using the new Dotted Circles 3D embossing folder. It is huge and um, it's new in the catalogue. You can find all the embossing folders on page 129 of the annual catalogue. The inks I have are Blueberry Bushel, Melon Mumbo and Green Apple Green and I'm also using the blending brushes. So for my tech, uh, technique this week, I'm using the Joseph's Coat Technique or the Blackout Technique. You can choose either. So um, I'm actually going to show you this technique and how you can do it two ways because to be honest, I stuffed this first one up. I've left it in because I really, you know, it, it's funny. You know, that's just how it works sometimes. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just inking up the embossing folder um, and I'm doing it on the front side so the stamping up logo side on this one if you want to do the technique actually you need to use it on the other one on the other side is what I mean now I did this for card class in Bendigo last month and it worked out that to be able to do this technique you had to do it on the stamping up logo side so um, Obviously, it didn't work this time, um, but that's why I've actually inked up the wrong side this time around. But it still works, and I, I'm happy that I'm going to get to show you, you know, both ways of being able to use this technique. So hopefully, it helps. So I'm just layering the three colours with our um, blending brushes. You want to do enough that's going to cover your sheet of basic white cardstock. So you need to whatever. Um, embossing folder you use that you you just cover enough that you can emboss on your basic white sheet um, now you can use any embossing folder the 3d ones work really well with this because you get that nice deep impression so I've got my piece of basic white here we're going to run it through the embossing folder with um, the plate one and four which is that gray 3d plate because this is a 3d plate um, if you're not using the 3D embossing folders, use the, the normal platform and plates. Okay, so once this comes out, I'll notice that, yeah, that's the wrong side. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how I fixed it. And it's actually a really great technique as well. So as you can see, it's going to be my colors are actually the embossed side and actually need the colors to be in the debossed side so what i'm doing if you're doing this and you don't want to add the color to your embossing folder run it through the um, cut and emboss machine with your basic white cardstock or your basic white thick then what you're going to do once you have it all um, embossed you're going to come in and color the debossed side with your inks and your blending brushes um, and you, the more colours you use, the more colourful it will be. It will be, and obviously, if the brighter the inks, the more it's going to stand out with the black as well. So that's why I sort of went with the, the really bright, vibranty colours of Melon Mumbo, Green Apple Green, and Blueberry Bushel. So all I'm doing is I'm just adding the colours in. Um, you want to make sure that you're not overlapping the colors too much because that's going to muddy them a little bit especially with these two colors not so bad with the blue and pinks but um yeah it, it still actually looks so good so once we have our third color down uh that is you know we're, we're done with our coloring and we can actually black out our image so this is the first way of doing it, where you run your basic white cardstock through the embossing folder and then you add the colours with the blending brushes or you know, however way you would like. Um, maybe you've got sponge daubers, maybe you're just using sponges, whatever tool that you use, um, you're just going to add that colour onto the debossed side. So you want to get that colour into the debossed areas. Okay, so then we have that. Now I'm going to go and I'm actually going to do the same technique, but I'm going to do it on the opposite side. So um, it'll be on the, the debossed side. Oh, I don't know. I get so confused sometimes. But, you know, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to add all those layers again of those colors. Now, when you see the two together, the two different cards together, I'm going to tell you that if you do the first style first, so where you just emboss first and then you add the color, the color is much, much more vibrant and, um, and beautiful. But then if you do it where we're doing here now, we're adding the color to the embossing folder. It's a lot um, more subtle. So depending on what embossing folder you're using, for my card class, we actually use the Falling Leaf or Leaf Falling 3D embossing folder. And we used very autumn colors. So um, I had Wild Wheat, Pretty Peacock. And what was the other color that we used? I'm not really sure. But um, they were very fally colors, so it actually looked really good um, with that um, this technique that we're using right now, as you can see. But definitely choose either whichever one you would like to use. So we have all our beautiful colors in there. I just want to make sure that I'm going to be covering the whole area of my cardstock, and then we're going to run that one through the embossing folder. Um, and the die cut machine again and then we're ready to show you the technique this is not the technique it's really not it, it's a real wow factor this technique very 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 nice um, I've also heard it called the blackout technique so um, Joseph's coat technique or blackout technique okay so let's run this one through really quick and then we can get making this gorgeous technique shine now we'll say um, I'm using memento tuxedo black ink you could use any color ink it doesn't have to be black you could use you know uh, night of navy so you could change your colors around a little bit it does need to be a black to make it really pop out I think um, but yeah it does use a ton of ink as well okay so we have our two versions here now and lots of ink on our embossing folder the quick tip to clean that is just to run it under some water. It comes straight off. Our inks don't, don't damage it at all. So here's our two different designs. So the first one where we added the ink to the cardstock and then the one on the right is where we've added the ink to the embossing folder and then um, embossed it. And I do need, because I use these um, memento pads at the card class, I do need to re-ink. So it does use a ton of ink. So once we have our Memento Tuxedo Black re-inked, and I probably should have done it before I turned the video on, but um, I wasn't sure how how bad it was. And I'm just going to use, once you re-ink your stamp pads, just use like a plastic spoon or something to settle the ink in and move it all around so it's nice and even. And look at that. Isn't this stunning? So as you can see, the color is a lot, or not as vibrant as the other side, but it still is so pretty. So depending on the colors you use, um, you're going to have different techniques as well as the different embossing folders that you use. And we're just going to run this along and keep adding lots and lots of black ink. I do recommend using your paper, like your scrap paper, just to hang on to it. You're going to end up with inky fingers anyway. It's a very inky technique but um yeah absolutely amazing and then this is the more vibrant of the two where we added the ink to the cardstock after it was embossed and look at those colors those colors are like popping off the page let me know which one you prefer the one on the left the vibrant bright one on the left or the more subtle version on the right Okay, so we're going to create the cards now. That's just our first layer of the Joseph's Coat Technique. I'm using basic white thick card base, so half a piece of A4, uh, scored in half, um, and our basic black matting. That's going to measure three and three quarters by five and five eighths. And I'm also going to cut down our uh, Joseph's Coat Technique piece, and I'm going to cut that down to three and a half by five and three eighths. So just to make the cards uniformed. Now, because that, that um, embossing folder is, uh, 
well, it's it's central. I wanted to keep that circle in the center of the card. So I do have to, when I'm cutting down that piece, sort of cut from both sides just to make sure that I keep that circle in the center. For our sentiment, I'm going to, you know, just bring in a little bit more of that color. So I have the matting piece in Mellon Mumbo and a sentiment piece is going to be in basic white and I'm going to use Memento. I'm just, I've kept it to the same color. I probably could have used the, stamped the sentiment in Mellon Mumbo. That would look, you know, and bring that right up as well. But I think it, it still looks good. And you can see actually when I stamp the sentiments that how much ink has been used in that Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because it's a little bit lighter than what it was if I hadn't have done this technique. So it does use a ton of ink. So make sure whatever you're using, you have a re-inker to be able to continue to re-ink your ink pad. So once I've cut these down um, so they measure the same, like I said, I've just made sure that I've cut from both sides to keep that centerpiece in the middle of the card base. All right, and we're going to adhere the um, technique piece to our basic black matting just with liquid glue. I am going to pop up the um, matting piece. And I've got this Thoughtful Wishes stamp set. This is a really nice stamp set. Great um, for all your sentiments. I've gone with I Appreciate You and Dearest Friend. I think, you know, you can't really go wrong with those um, sentiments. But there's lots of different sentiments in that stamp set. Or you can use a stamp set that you have in your stash. Now, just quickly, I have used some new products in the new Stamping Up catalogue. And if you are in need of any of the supplies that I've either used for today's card or maybe you would like to purchase some Stampin' Up goodies, you can purchase them in my online store. I have a link in the description of this channel, in this video. <laughs> and um, you can purchase there if you live in Australia. I've got some great um, gifts that I give out to all my customers each month. So if you use the host code, you'll receive a handmade card from me. The, um, the monthly tutorial, uh, monthly customer card. Um, and I'll also send you the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial for the month as well. If you spend over $65 before postage, you'll receive the monthly tutorial bundle as well. Excuse me. So um, lots and lots of gifts that I can give to you if you would like to purchase with me. And I would love it and appreciate it so much if you did. All right, so we're going to pop up this one with some dimensionals. I did use liquid glue to adhere the two... Um, Joseph's coat piece as well as down to the uh, basic black. Um, for our sentiment piece, I'm just going to sort of cut down. Um, for one of the sentiments, I cut down both pieces, both the matting as well as um, the sentiment piece. Uh, for the other one, the dearest friend, I've just cut down the sentiment piece and left the matting in a, a big sort of rectangle. Alright, now to finish these off, because I thought it sort of still needed something to add to it. And um, in the catalogue, there are some really beautiful, bold coloured, glossy dots assorted. They come in a few different colours, and I've used the pink. I'm not sure whether it's Melon Mumbo, but um, I thought, you know, they come in a couple of sizes. But they're really, really pretty and sort of really shown off that beautiful pink uh, Melon Mombo that's in the card. So that's what I went with. I did put three of those down um, on each of the cards. So yeah, if this, if you would like to try this technique, I would love if you shared it with me. You could use this technique with Tracy's Sunday Challenge. Please come over to my business Facebook page. You'll see the, um, the challenge graphic pop your card in the, the comment section of that post and yeah everyone is welcome to join in so if, if you want to create a card with this technique or any technique please come and join in we would love to see what you're creating and I love that people can share their creations with other people such an amazing thing to be able to inspire someone else to create Okay, so I'm just adding that last sentiment down. This is the one that I'm going to actually banner cut on both, which I think gives it a, a real, real nice look. 
and I'm going to cut down it's not really quite centered so I'm just going to cut down that top piece as well rather than use my paper trimmer and have that completely wrecked I'm just going to come in with my long scissors and just trim that tiny bit off so that worked really well all right um yeah so I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give me a thumbs up I would love it if you left me a comment and don't forget you can join in this this week's challenge whether you want to create a Joseph's coat technique or any technique come and share off some techniques for everyone I really appreciate your time today I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend and yeah get a little bit of crafting done why not um, it is Mother's Day here in Australia so I am spending the day with my family. My daughter's come home for the weekend. So we're, we're just having a lovely, relaxing weekend, sp spending a bit of time together. So, and my son's coming out, obviously, but he lives in the next town over. So, but yeah. So this is the dotted circle 3D embossing folder. Perfect for this technique. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.